I mean, the miracle of that single maneuver, if you're saying degree of difficulty, yeah, that's through the roof. I feel like that number stayed low yeah. because... We got a lot more to see. He laid down, Ewing just up and out. Ooh, and he's got to be careful, even though it's a 46 minute heat, you got the two-time world champion and one of the best ever competing out there. Okay, backside hack, vertical once again, looking very oh. inspired as he belts it incredibly hard. So strong is his attack load on those individual vertical turns. Create some space with the float. Backside, blow tail, reverse. That Whitewater is going to take him out this time. Now the Whitewater and Medina 1-1 so far <laughs> as they battle early. Ewing, meanwhile, is just checking out waves, 0.5, and now just taking another look and kicking out. The two best waves in these 46 minutes to beat the two-time champ. And here we see Gabriel's last wave. Going to be in the mid-range as far as the score goes. And it's going to be difficult to earn anything better than a seven with these kind of conditions, Joe. Knowing what these men can do, especially this person on screen. Now there's pressure on to compete for requalification and oh. final five kick stall to try to get barreled. Gabriel Medina swinging off the lip, tail drift back into play in the pocket. Looking solid as he throws his whole board out the back. Going for the reverse, he hasn't given up yet. You're kidding. Picks himself back up after such a dramatic ride through the white water. Where was he in that thing? Still snapping away. Medina famous for some of the most miracle sections. Backhand air reverse, incomplete on the finish. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Who was that? I, I was that that I was a gladiator. I don't stump you very often, Mitch. That wave took our breath away for so many reasons. The start in the barrel, trying to kick stall to get that vision. But I've never seen a layback to recover quite like that. No, and just to start things off, you know, this round, this heat, I think a lot of people were thinking probably going to be the heat of the round. And now I see why. Two-time world champ against the Wonder Boy from Australia. There is no real explanation to how he recovered from this maneuver. It's just magic. That, 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 that's just somehow the best recovery I've ever probably seen on the championship tour besides Kelly's barrel where he went on his belly and then somehow made it out. But this last era Medina, he makes it out of it and we're seeing something close to perfection, I think. And it, it's almost even a complete maneuver right there at the end. But the beginning and this maneuver, I mean, his core strength, his leg strength, just spectacular. I can't believe what we just saw. It's the miracle of Medina that we saw just yesterday when he pulled the Gorkin flip with a minute to go to beat Michelle Perez. I mean, it's interesting when you watch this wave, though, and kind of relax from just the entertainment of it. I mean, then translated to a score, laying back for that long often is looked at as a mistake. No mistakes right there. Look at that show, completely extended. And then Ethan throwing down his first turn of the matchup. Yeah, and just a 2.3. As you can see, just going with the motions, going with the flow. That's the U-turn, as you call it. All sand bottom. That sand can shift. We're always judging the quality of waves and all according to that sand bank. It's been more about big maneuvers than the first year we had this event in 06. Snap to slide for Medina. Big vertical hack once again, big swing off the bottom, transition smooth. Now a bit of downtime, get out of the way of the white water. Low road float, so he goes right into a bottom turn. Sneaks in the wrap, trying to improve on his 5.5 that he just laid down. And now trimming that backhand float into a really challenging thing is when you're facing this guy every heat is going to be difficult beautiful drift on the first turn right there for medina goes straight up until the second and if there's a goofy footer that can just prove people wrong at a right hand point takes him out right away that'll give room for ethan ewing kid from stradbrook goes straight up with the drift unbelievable bottom turn it's in the climb into the wrap. 
Three different turns to start for Ewing. Best wave so far. With some drive through the open face, setup work. He's planning a big top turn carve, anticipating this big wall. Hacks it with a ton of momentum. The pacing on the last half of the wave was very difficult. And all of a sudden it would pop up as soon as he got there. There is this true connection that certain world champions have with the water. Oh, yeah. Big speedy car for Ewing. Had the 627 on the wave previous, which is the best wave of the heat so far against a two time world champ. The Australian sets that carve. Nice high rebound. Deep off the bottom, there's the vertical. Section coming down quickly on Ewing. How cool is that pace just to get back into the open face? Hard off the bottom and a solid hack. Drilling. A monstrous section. Already has the 627. This is going to be better than that. A quicker pace than the 627, Joe. Beautiful speedy carves on the first two sections. And this thing just bowled up on the inside, a larger set wave. And the thing that I noticed the most today compared to yesterday, the bar is set up where the inside ones connect better in a more consistent basis. These ones that are a little bit wider tend to have that midsection where you have to go around the white water. And he did that to an excellent level because look at this finish. That was a difficult maneuver to fit in right there at the end. Just beautiful pacing, excellent surfing on his rail, and a great way to read the whole outline of the wave too, Joe. So cool for his rhythm where he positions himself yeah. in the wave to give himself opportunities mm -hmm. for variety and switching gears. Connects so well through this section and actually caught back up to the open face. Ethan Ewing so fired up to spar with the current world number Man. one and that finishing move. Yeah, and he looks really relaxed too. Just going out there trying to surf, get on the better waves and make heats. Medina's turn. Tail high whip above the lip. Had a huge free fall and couldn't land that thing. Another backhander in the opposite heat. Medina throwing some water to the sky. Casual roundo. World number one, just pacing down the line. Vertical foam climb hack there. Creates some space deep off the bottom. Clean snap for Medina. Drills it again. Firing conditions here at Barra. Unbelievable finish. Great timing, great pace all the way from start to finish. Needs a 7.03. Just a casual start. Beautiful second turn. Love the drift of the fins. I love that outline of the turn right there where he kind of took his pace, took his time. Goes up into the lip once more. A lot of setup work here right in the middle. And the wave got tricky. Goes flat and then speeds up all of a sudden. And that's when he starts attacking the lip once again. Bust the fins outside. That was more of a down hit. And then this finish was gorgeous right at the end. And there's a good chance he gets it on that last wave. Quick answer. Flow and getting hung up on the wrap. We'll see if Ewing continues. He will. Trying to make up for that moment at where he got stuck. One, two. Front side float for Ewing. There's the wrap. Love how he combos it up. Drives through a beautiful roundhouse cutback. All set up work for Ewing. Beautiful oh. vertical. Never looks rushed. So in sync. Specifically, there was still more down the line. And Ewing's wave. After Medina's score, he was needing something to move back into the lead. Beautiful pacing. I love that long, drawn-out bottom turn. And that roundhouse cutback just textbook. Great technique. His shoulders and his hips follow at the same time. 
And then look at this turn right here, the money one. Woof. I love how he just puts a lot of effort into it. And then one critical mistake here. I think he was on, on his way to get the score. Yeah, this could be that turning point mm -hmm. for Ewing if he could somehow get past the man wearing the Jeep leader's jersey, grabbing the rail on the takeoff. Medina slowing himself down. He will punch free. Now starting to settle down with some carves, patience off the bottom. He'll kind of adjust his rail off the top of that wave. Love how this wave just makes you be patient. Yeah. The sections come at you. It forces you. And then at a moment's notice, you'll have to pick up the pace, throw tail a little bit out the back. Medina will get hung up once again. Three, it was either two, that or try one. to go on an inside wave, give first priority to Gabe, and then possibly not even get the score on a smaller one. Gabriel Medina gets the win over Ethan. U